he is coming to the Coliseum at Caesars Palace, like I mentioned, for his second round as a strip star headliner. And I think he's back. Now he is in the building. <laughs> Who needs Elvis when you got Garth Brooks? Hey, Garth, how's it going? <laughs> Good morning and thank you, thank you, thank you. I got lost on the way over here. My fault and thank you for giving me a second chance. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You're Garth Brooks, you get as many chances as you want. You come back anytime, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you know, listen, my friend. I'm gonna need you to talk to my wife about that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, hey, we love Trisha too. How is she doing? We love her. She's doing great and uh, She's actually uh, here with us. We do everything kind of together. So she's enjoying this whole residency plus one thought as well. Because it's just, you get to play music and you get to play music together. We've been playing music together uh, since the late 80s. So we both feel very blessed and very lucky to uh, be getting to still do it at this age and getting to do it together. And I'm the luckiest one because that might be one of the greatest singers our world has ever known. So uh, very, very lucky to get to sing with that woman. See, you are so smart. Given the kudos where the kudos are due, Garth Brooks, very smart man. Okay, you know, <laughs> we want to get to this residency and talk about what's going down. You know, I've heard you kind of make the rounds and you've talked about not only pushing the envelope, I love this quote, but you're going to shred it. So let's talk about how you plan to do all that. I like it because our whole career, you know, you try to find ways to, you want to play by the rules, but within those rules, you want to bend them as much as you can and, and get out there and, and get as far out on the edge as you can. And so the residency, I learned from when I was lucky enough to do the residency at Wynn here in Vegas uh, over a decade ago, when it's just you and your guitar, it gets really intimate, but then when you want the muscle, it's not there. So what you do is you bring the whole band and they just sit in the audience. And you can be as intimate as you want, but when you want the muscle, here they come, and you can use the whole band, pieces of the band, just background vocals or just percussion. This is going to be an entertainer's dream because the slate is clean when you come in and everything is possible. Oh my gosh, it's so possible, especially in a town like Las Vegas. And I love the title of your residency, Garth Brooks Plus One, because that is mm. a reference to more of that intimate experience that you create with your shows, even though you're gonna have an awesome band there, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. The greatest thing, though, uh, you know, if, if somebody because ever goes, hey, Garth, why is this happening to you? Trust me, I'm the last guy that knows. But if 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 God himself or somebody said I have the answer, I'm hoping that answer would be the music. And that's what a residency does. The residency pushes the music in front of the spectacle. And so this is what I'm probably looking forward to most is getting to play your stuff, getting to play the stuff you love from other artists. This is, uh, this is going to be Gar's favorite show, I can tell you that. I just hope it's the people's as well. Oh, well, you can bet on that. I already know it's going to be our favorite show. It's going down May, June, and July. Then you're also coming back in the fall of 2023. By the way, verified fan ticket registration, November 17th, and the sale begins on November 21st. What a great holiday gift. Hey, Garth, you are our holiday gift. We appreciate you coming on the show. You're welcome back anytime, and best of luck with the residency. <laughs> You are the bomb. You made this so easy. Happy holidays. I love you. Oh, we love you too, Garth. Appreciate you and all the best to you and Tricia.